a 45-yard touchdown in the third quarter, giving the Wolverines a lead they would never give back. Michigan winds up dominating the second half and beating Ohio State 45-23, solidifying what we all assume will be a spot in the college football playoff. Maybe they will be number one when the new rankings come out tonight. We will see. There's a lot of questions about that, and let's get with Heather and Paul here. So what is the number one, Heather, for the fans who are getting set to watch it tonight? What is the single most important thing they need to be watching for? Who's number five, as in how far do the Buckeyes fall? Because I would assume that they're number five because they should still have two CFP top 25 wins, including possibly a top 10 win against Penn State when the ranking is revealed. But if even if Ohio State's five and Alabama is six with two losses, those two teams are both in position to finish in the top four on selection day if upsets happen. If TCU loses and USC loses, those two teams come back into the conversation, but they're not playing anymore. Ohio State and Alabama are done. No more chances to impress the selection committee. So whoever is number five tonight is going to have the edge if upsets occur. But I will tell you this, if somehow Alabama is number five, which I'm not projecting, but if they are, there will be an absolute uproar an uproar because their two best wins are against Ole Miss which lost one point on the road against Texas which was playing most of the game with its backup quarterback Ohio State has a stronger resume not only on paper but according to ESPN's strength of record well for those who are not following it closely Ohio State has better wins Alabama has better losses so it's a question of what you like Ohio State got blown out at home Alabama lost on the last play of two games against good teams albeit not Right this moment, great teams. Paul, if you were in that room, who would you be lobbying for at number five? Ohio State. And for the reason you just laid out, Greeny, it, it, both, both strengths of schedules are, are – well, clearly Alabama has a better strength of schedule, but I, ca I can't put somebody in because they have good losses. And one thing you have to remember about Alabama – why are they? Why are we even talking about them versus Tennessee? Tennessee beat Alabama and beat LSU. Uh, remember, Alabama lost to LSU three weeks after losing to Tennessee. And the one thing that Alabama did not have to do that I think the committee ought to consider, they didn't have to play Georgia, the best team in the country. And I think that would have been another loss. So I would clearly go in favor of Ohio State. I don't like it. I, don't, I think they completely collapsed in the fourth quarter and it was embarrassing. But they still get the edge over Bama. All right, and again, all this, it feels like, only happens in the event that TCU and or USC lose. That brings us to the next question, Heather. TCU, they're not, you know, sort of the glamour program that we talk about with Alabama, Ohio State, and all the rest of it. Can they afford to lose? Is there a scenario where TCU, which currently has zero losses, loses in the Big 12 championship game and still makes it into the Final Four teams? Yes, it's not impossible. As a matter of fact, our metrics love TCU even with a loss, but I will point this out. They have not moved up in the selection committee's rankings even though back-to-back -back road wins against Baylor and Texas. And when they beat K-State, remember, during the regular season, they had to overcome an 18-point deficit. The committee does not like that. So. Let's see what happens in that game. How they lose if they lost would certainly matter. Uh, and then finally, Paul, if everyone that we expect to win wins this weekend, we think we know who the final four teams would then be. Would they be the right ones? Would those be the four best and most deserving teams in the country if it winds up Michigan, Georgia, in whatever order they are, TCU and USC? I think so, Greeny, and you know we, we get cut off on semantics every year. Who's who's the best? There's no way to know when, when you when you have, when TCU has a different type of schedule. But ultimately, I, I think we would see Georgia, and then obviously Michigan, TCU, and USC. So you'd have a Georgia SC game and a Michigan TCU game in the semifinals. And, and look, it is worth noting that if Michigan does wind up at one and Ohio State winds up sneaking in at four, we would at that point be set up for a rematch in the college football playoffs. So there's a lot of stuff that is left to be worked out, and we'll see it all tonight. Guys, thank you, Heather and Paul. Heather will be here tomorrow. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.